What is up guys, Fado82 coming at you with some gameplay footage from the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta which I participated in last week. This is commentary I'm recording over the footage, I can't play and uh, talk at the same time, I'm not that skilled. And I just want to say right off the bat, my playstyle with Call of Duty is I don't care about dying. I'm a very I aggressive player, I like getting right up in people's grills, blasting away, being a gunfighter, and that's my strong suit. I usually, when I play Call of Duty, come out, you know, in the top three. Um, in these two matches, I did come out in the top three. I, ne I very rarely come out in the first place. I think that's only happened probably a few times. Uh, I'm not good with the score streaks, and uh, I put all my perks and, and everything based around the weapons. So I focus on that because I'm really just a gunfighter when it comes to it. I see no penalty to dying in Call of Duty. I don't care about my kill-death ratio. I just care about having a good time and feeling like I'm really being an aggressive player. So that's my playstyle. Getting right into it, how does this game compare to the other Call of Duty games? Let's talk a little bit about how it compares to Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2, I think, is the gold standard in the Call of Duty series, and it's the one that most people are going to judge and compare this game to. Mainly because it's Black Ops 3, but also because, you know, Black Ops 2 is just really, I think, one of the tightest Call of Duty games that was made in terms of the mechanics, the pacing, the hitboxes. Um, so it's it's faster than black ops 2 i'll say that right off the bat but it's not overkill like it was in advanced warfare there are some movements that you have that are some sort of limited exosuit type movements uh where you can do see some jumps you can jump up to about two stories but you it's not uh, absurd like it was in advanced warfare where you have to get up top you know immediately in the game to get the gain the advantage it's much more toned down you can use some parkour movements you can run along walls you can use some slides but it's fairly um a slower paced game than Advanced Warfare, but faster than Black Ops 2, if that makes any sense. In terms of the pacing, I've also noticed that the hitboxes in this were a little bit tighter than Black Ops 2, which made it for a faster paced game, just because the hitboxes were a little more fine-tuned. Which I don't think is a bad thing, but it did make it feel um, much faster. So, in terms of the gameplay, I thought it was really good. I didn't have any major complaints about it. I can see myself picking up the game when it comes out. Um, in terms of the the movement in the game, it was very fluid. Um, there were some parts in the maps where I felt like I should be able to jump, like the, the rock there to the left, for example. You can't really jump on top of it, but it looks like you should be able to. Um, so there were a few spots in the maps where I didn't think that it, it was really realistic that you couldn't get up there. But that might be fixed. Again, this is beta footage. But overall, the movement was pretty good. The maps were pretty much three lane maps in that there were different lanes you could take through, but it was limited to about three lanes, very much focused on close quarter battles. There were some underground um, environments which you could go into, which was really cool, and that was uh, a really a, a cool thing to do to be able to get underwater and sort of move through the maps that way. In terms of the, again, the verticality of it, it makes the maps feel smaller than they actually are because you can kind of jump around a little bit more. The maps in general are bigger than the maps in Black Ops 2, but they don't always feel that way when you're playing it. Uh, again, I only played a few maps here that were open up in the beta test, so I didn't get a full perspective of what it's going to look like at launch. They may have larger scale maps, but in my mind, Call of Duty doesn't really work too well for larger scale maps. It's pretty much a close quarters game in terms of close quarters gunfights. That's why I play the game, and I think this iteration was doing a great job of staying true to that. Treyarch truly become the lead studio. Uh, back, you know, in the day, it, that wasn't the case. They really sort of pioneered the way with um, World at War, introducing zombies and stuff like that. I thought that was a great underrated game when it came out. But uh, Infinity Ward kind of got the spotlight for a while, but it really became evident quickly that Treyarch was the lead studio, and they make the quality games. So I'm really excited that Treyarch's behind this one, um, and I think that it's going to be definitely worth your money for a fan of Call of Duty. So in terms of the weapons in the game... This footage, yeah, I'm using mostly a shotgun, which I'm not really accustomed to using, but I was having a good time with it. I used submachine guns, I used assault rifles, I used some new electricity-based weapons that were in the game. I thought they were all pretty good. I didn't really find that there was one weapon that was too OP or uh, a particular attachment that everybody was using, and it seemed like things were fairly balanced. But again, that's something that's going to be teased out more when the game is actually released. Um, Call of Duty has, has is a game where it really has to be balanced well because it's really annoying when the games come out and you find that everyone's using the same weapon, the same weapon attachment because, you know, um, 
it's just the one that is going to be the most effective one. So I really hope that that's true, what I experienced in the beta, that it is fairly balanced and that there's a diversity in weapons and game styles and gameplays. I think that's probably going to be the case because I think Treyarch is pretty much on top of it. As much as that can be the case, though, with a game like this, there's always going to be certain setups that I think are going to work better, and that's just part of it. So in terms of the... Uh, characters in here you're going to notice a lot of them look the same there were some limited options open to beta testers so you're going to see a lot of character models that look the same the character models are based off of specialist classes that are in the game they're um classes that come with unique abilities i'm playing one here that has a bow that you can use for a special ability that bow can fire off some explosive rounds and i think you can tweak that and actually change those special abilities so they uh, function a little bit differently there's one character class that has ability to glitch which makes him be able to sort of glitch around the map he kind of teleports it's another character class that can actually bring himself back to life he can use that only a couple times during the gameplay mode so it's really interesting and you're going to be able to i think find one that suits your play style i am somewhat concerned that there may be some game game classes you know specialist classes that become too widely used and we see them just too much in the game so i hope that the balancing for those classes is really such that it opens it up for a lot of players to have sort of some diversity with it and not just stick to the same one so that remains to be seen um, again in the beta it wasn't a good measure of that because we only had a few to choose from so you did see a lot of the same people running around in terms of the graphics this is from the pc um, the pc graphics are not where they will be at launch they stated that right from the get-go they said look this is uh not optimized right now for a pc you're not gonna be able to get all the bells and whistles so this is how it looks on the ps4 the xbox one uh, but this was played on a pc in terms of playing it on the pc the controls were were solid i'm not used to playing call of duty on a pc i typically have played it in the past on consoles mainly because that's where my friends had the game and where i was able to sort of hook up with them was through consoles so i became accustomed to playing call of duty on with a controller even though i prefer the mouse and keyboard setup for fps games when it comes out at launch guys i'm not sure if i'm going to stick with a pc or if I'm going to go with a console. I like, again, the controls better on the PC because I love the mouse and keyboard. I think it's more fluid. But I'm concerned with PC only because I think that hacking is more prevalent in the PC versions of Call of Duty than the console versions. If that's not true, guys, please you know let me know in the comments and tell me I'm wrong um, because I hope I am. But it seems like the PCs are more prone to those... Uh, you know those bullshit companies with the uh, aimbot packages and all that i'm not going to name the companies because i don't want to give them any power or recognition but we all know who we're talking about those shitty companies that allow you to purchase the aimbot packages that ruin all the games that we love anyways um i felt like the controls were really good the movement again was really fluid the hitboxes were right on right on target in terms of the um the game overall I think that, you know, it, it's a Call of Duty game. There's no doubt about that. It's giving us what we want. It's not trying to be anything groundbreaking, which I think is really a good thing. I think Ghosts fucked that up big time with Call of Duty. I remember distinctly looking fondly, you know, to every release of Call of Duty. It was kind of like, I'm not a big sports player, but this is like my Madden type game. It came out every year. Kind of knew what to expect. Absolutely love Black Ops 2. I remember going out to a midnight release for Advanced uh, Warfare. I've been to midnight releases for virtually every Call of Duty game out there. Kind of fun to go out with your buddies, have a good time. I went with my buddy Sean to go and pick up Advanced Warfare. We picked it up. I had to go home. I had to get to bed. Um, and I, I woke up early the next morning to play it. He had stayed up all night playing it. He's a hardcore Call of Duty player. Probably the best one that I've ever come across. And uh, I loaded up Ghosts and, and I started playing it. And I mean... I was just like amazed, you know, because usually Call of Duty, I'm into it for, for a while before I put it down. I'll kind of crack out, out on it for a while and then I'll, you know, I'll get tired of it. But uh, Ghosts, I mean, I played it for 40 minutes and I was like, ah, I don't, I don't like this. And I, I thought I was missing something. So I texted my buddy Sean. I said, you know, what's up, man? And he's like, yeah, dude. He's like, this is, this is garbage. He's like, I stopped playing it last night. And uh, I, I stuck with it for about a week, and I actually went back and I traded in the Advanced Warfare copy, and I got my copy of Black Ops 2 back, or another used copy of Black Ops 2. And I think most people did that. Black Ops 2 actually was dominating the the newer release at that point of Call of Duty, which was um, which was Ghosts. So I think that that was um, really a line in the sand where I realized that you know Call of Duty, the the format for it with these different studios developing it, I think was a broken format. Um, I understand the three-year development cycle, and I think it's better to spend time with uh, 
developing a right game, but I'd rather have one Call of Duty game come out every three years and have these sort of garbage ones come out in between. Now, Advanced Warfare definitely, definitely was better than Ghost. There's no doubt about that, but there's no, there's no disputing that Treyarch is lead studio. I'd rather wait a couple years, maybe even put it to a two-year development cycle and have just Treyarch focus on it because they just seem to know it better, know the community better, and it's uh, much more appreciated. When there's too many cooks in the kitchen, the soup comes out bad, and that's kind of how I felt about Call of Duty. But from my experience with the Black Ops 3 beta, it's a it's a return to form and a good form in that, and that it's it's just a really uh, solid Call of Duty game. I think you guys will like it. In terms of how the game modes were, uh, the standard game modes were in there. As you can see, I mean, the two favorite ones that I have here are Kill Confirmed and Hardpoint, which I'm playing here. There were some new modes. There was one where you have to escort uh, a robot, and there's one team escorting it, and the other team is trying to, to kill that robot. That was pretty fun, but it didn't seem like um, a lot of people were really playing it. There's Search and Destroy. There's you know all those modes. We were only able to access the core playlist during the beta, so we couldn't play any of the, uh, the hardcore modes or anything like that. I think that you guys are going to be really happy with it if you're a Call of Duty fan. I don't think it's going to you know blow your mind necessarily, but I think you're going to be content with it. Um, I didn't find the pacing to be too bad. I, I, I found it that it was a good balance. Um, again, it's going to be slower than Black Ops 2, which is that gold standard of Call of Duty. Faster, rather. I'm sorry. Faster than Black Ops 2, which is that gold standard. But it's going to be slower than Advanced Warfare, which are the two we want to compare it to because those are the two newest ones that are sort of the fresh in our minds. I really think it's probably going to be worth a purchase if you're a Call of Duty fan. Um, I know Call of Duty is a divisive thing in the game, gaming community. Some people tend to get a bit uh, salty about it, but I think Call of Duty is good for what it is. It engages me on sort of that lizard brain level where I sort of really uh, enjoy the kills. I enjoy the fast pace to it. I like the CQB. I like the close quarter battles. I don't play Call of Duty to care about large-scale maps. I'm not a sniper in the game, and I like just running and gunning and being a gunfighter in the game. And I really enjoyed it, guys. So if you have any questions for me about how it was, you know, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you guys have any comments, you know, that you want to put in there to correct anything that I said that may be wrong or anything like that, you know, go ahead and do that. Much appreciated as always. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, Fado82, peace. Hostile Talon inbound. UAV inbound. Ruin down. Enemy Raps deploy ship has been hacked. UAV inbound. Hellstorm on standby. Drop them. Talon awaiting orders. 